Hey there! In this video, I want to tell you about the differences between Excel 2016, Excel 2019, and Office 365. Because this is a question I get pretty often, and it causes some confusion for quite a few people. And so I'm just going to sum it up for you real quickly. So if we're talking about Excel 2016, that was, until just recently, the newer version of Excel. And it just had some upgrades like 3D maps and things like that. And, then, and that is a version that you purchase and download onto your computer, right? So it's a one-time purchase thing. You pay for it, and then it's on your computer. Okay, now just recently they came out with the new version of the one-time purchase, which is Excel 2019. And Excel 2019 is also just a one-time purchase. So you actually purchase the software, you put it on your computer, and what you have is what you get. So when they come out with an update in 2022 or 2025, then at that point you will have essentially a slightly outdated version. Although it will basically be good for probably another six or nine years, depending on how technology changes. But the versions don't change a ton, they just get some upgrades. So like in the 2019 version, you have some new features and functions. You know, like there's a new, it's called Concat, it's a feature that is sort of like concatenate. You have some new max and min functions, text join functions, you know, just smaller improvements, additions. You have uh, new charts, you can do map charts. Um, sharing becomes easier through some additional features that 2019 has. But if you're trying to just use Excel and you have 2016 or you even have, say, 2013, you're fine. You can still use it. You just won't have a handful of newer features. Okay. And then let's talk about Office 365 because I think that's where you get the most confusion when people are talking about versions. And the way Office 365 works is it's a subscription service. So you still download it onto your computer, but you have a subscription service that essentially you pay monthly instead of paying one big chunk to buy it. And then as part of the Office bundle, so Office right products include Microsoft, PowerPoint, Excel, Access, etc. There are a bunch more too, but those are the primary four. Excel, Access, PowerPoint, and Word are all Office products, which again you can either buy standalone or you can buy them all as part of your Office 365 subscription. And the cool thing about having the Office 365 subscription is not only that you don't have to pay the big chunk up front, you pay monthly, but it also stays updated. And you have to go into like your Excel and go to your options and update it from time to time to download the updates, but it will stay updated and then you'll always basically have the latest version with the latest features. And so if you're a subscriber to Office 365 and you have your Excel, then in the year, you know, whatever, 2022 or whatever the next update is, you can update your software just by clicking a button and doing a little download and you'll still have essentially the newest, latest, current version. And this is what a lot of people are going to if they're new Excel users. If you're just signing up for Excel, going out to Microsoft to purchase Excel, it's most likely and recommended that you go and sign up for Office 365 to get Excel that way. If you're an older Excel user and you already have it downloaded on your computer, you may have the 2016 version or even like 2013 or 2010. And in which case, again, those are still functional. You just won't have a couple of the features that some of the newer versions have. 
So I hope that helps to clarify a little bit the deal, the difference between like 2016 versus 2019 versus the Office 365 subscription service. And if you want a kind of personal recommendation, I if you were just signing up for it now, I would get Office 365. That's what I have and that's what I use and it's great. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please like the video or subscribe to my channel. Or if you want to be an extra rock star, click on the link down below in the description and I have courses on Udemy and Skillshare. And if you join one of my courses, they're super affordable and I teach you a ton about Excel and there are beginner's courses, basically like full on beginner Excel mastery courses that I would love to see you join. Thanks for listening.